Your Royal Highness, Your Excellencies, dear friends, ladies, and gentlemen. It is an honor and a privilege to be here. I am truly humbled by the recognition that you have given to us, uh, the ITU and the UN Women through this GEM Tech Award. Um, we are really grateful to be here because we know that so many other organizations could have won this award. Some of them are doing even better work and we celebrate their work. I truly, truly believe in the immense importance of our work at WOW Foundation and the work that everybody is doing to promote gender equality in technology sector. Gender equality is not just the right thing to do. It is not just the fair thing to do. It is not just about equality of women versus men. Gender equality is the right thing to do economically. It is the right thing to do for the bottom line. Women are innovators. Women bring solutions. They bring connections. They bring beauty to technology. I am a woman in technology, and, and I really want to bring, shine some light on some statistics that might startle you. In Africa, there are 200 million people between the ages of 15 and 24. This is the youth bracket. And that number is said to double by the year 2045. We have to really think about how we are empowering our young population to take the next generation of creativity and innovation to the next level. Now, if you think about what uh, we heard tonight, that 90% of the future jobs in, in over the next 10 years is going to require some skills in ICT and technology. We worry about how we are equipping our young people in Africa to ensure that they take on the challenge of the future to build the, the solutions that we need to solve some of the challenges that we're facing in Africa. Africa is spending over 4 billion US dollars every year paying foreign talent to solve some of our solutions, our problems in technology. If we can train our young people, that is a, a, a huge opportunity for us. I know the story of our youth unemployment, but I really believe that uh, technology, along with female education and empowerment, holds the key to solving some of those challenges. My acceptance of this award and honor would not be uh, complete if I don't take you on a short journey to tell you about how I got into WOW Foundation. In 2007, when I was completing my PhD in computer engineering at the, at the Texas A&M University, it suddenly dawned on me. It dawned on me that Africa was behind. It dawned on me that our, our educational system, especially in the technology sector, was not preparing our young people to face the challenges of tomorrow. And it dawned on me that so many of my female friends had fallen through the cracks. There are so many women in Africa who could do just as well and better than I had done, given the same opportunities and the same privileges. I was I was. I became passionate to give back. WOW Foundation is my way of giving back to my community. I'm pulling some of the girls up who are falling through the cracks. Our mission is to expand the pipeline of girls who are going into science and technology from a young age. Our target group starts from the year 13 years, and we really focus on low-income public school students. So we have a number of programs where First of all, we go and empower college girls and train them to become change makers in their communities. We resource them with what we call STEM in a handbag. And that is a portable uh, 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 computer lab that they then go into secondary schools and they do after school STEM programs. 
We also work with teacher training programs and we teach teachers to bring ICT and technology to their students at a very young age. I am excited to share with you some of the successes and the accomplishments that we have had in WOW Foundation. To date, we have trained over 200 university girls who are now serving as multiplier effects in their communities, touching over 10,000 secondary school students every year. We train, uh, we've trained master teachers who are now running STEM workshops in their schools, and we have facilitated a free online resource uh, uh, community that shares uh, lesson plans, STEM lesson plans for teachers. I would like to invite anyone who feels the energy of our call, anyone who's seeking a worthy cause, who identifies with our mission to join us and partner on this great call. Let me just say that I would like to dedicate this award to the beautiful young girls around the world, and especially in Africa, who keep getting up and pushing forward against all odds. I would like to pay a special tribute to the spirit of hard work of all African women. When I sometimes get tired or discouraged, I always pause to ask the question, are we really making a difference? And yes, I hear the voices of Hannah, I hear Tolu, I hear Susan, I, have, I hear Victoria, and they all say yes, because we are touching one life, and the one life makes a difference. One girl in Africa can change the world, and we will not stop until we reach our vision where one small girl from a small village in Africa will build the next Google or the next Facebook or will be the next Einstein of this world. This award is a measure of success to women worldwide. It is a marker that positive change is actually happening. So to everyone who is working to lift up girls in technology around the world, and especially in Africa, keep moving forward. Change is happening. There is hope, and Africa is rising. Thank you.